Today we are going to talk about the most annoying lie and misconception in the manosphere. I mean, there are many, as you guys know, but the biggest one gotta be this whole rhetoric of, oh, that is just for hookups, bro. Dating in real life is different. Oh, you are just looking at a very small section of online hookups. Things are different in real life. <laughs> The notion that SMV doesn't translate into data market value, and even if it does, it is at like 5% capacity. This is a manosphere lie, a normal lie that I hate the most. I mean, there are many, but this takes the cake. The others might be more ludicrous, but this one is more insidious. Because they use this argument, this false argument, to deflect and dismiss any data and misguide their viewers to their own benefit. One thing they don't understand, even many of you don't understand regarding why Tinder is real life is that it isn't necessarily about a woman using it to find a serious long-term partner, but more about women finding out about their opportunities and options, discovering their superpower. Almost any young woman today in the West has either used a dating app directly or other social media sites, which are not dating apps technically, but let's be real, they still accomplish similar results, right? Women still get bombarded, bombarded with messages through those social media platforms that are not dating platforms on paper. Like women must be feeling like Thanos when he gets his hands on the final infinity stone and becomes invincible. <laughs> the feeling must be like that. I will tell you guys this personal anecdote. Here it is. This was back when Facebook was at its peak, either uh, 2011 or 2012, when literally everybody was on Facebook. A decade ago when social media landscape wasn't like it is today, right? So I was talking to my sister about it, asked her why I couldn't see her profile. I was like, yo, what's up with that? I can't click on your name. And she says, oh, I said it private. You can't send me a friend request anymore. I get too many requests from creeps. And she showed me, guys. She actually showed me all the friend requests she has got. Guys, I was mind blown. An endless list of people. An 18-year-old girl. All those guys were sending friend requests to an 18-year-old girl to shoot their shot. It was getting so bad, she had to set her profile private. Meanwhile, I didn't even have a Facebook account. Because I knew how hard I would get mocked by everybody in my class. Think about it, man. Same genetic makeup but black and white different lives. It hit me at that point that I don't have even 1% of her SMB, not even 1 in 1000. I remember when I graduated high school and was gonna start college that summer, we were going somewhere with her, we were walking and she just casually says, dude, you now graduated from high school, why don't you just get a girlfriend? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> easier said than done. Like sis, I am on survival mode over here, in case you haven't noticed. I don't have hundreds of girls, even from different cities, trying to add me on Facebook just to talk to me. Of course, I didn't say that. I had to laugh it off. How could I say there is no point in denying it? I can't say that. Come on, guys, I can't say that. <laughs> I had said something along the lines of, oh, I am focusing on my studies right now. The time for that will come later. <laughs> I couldn't say there is no point in denying it. <laughs> it's nothing, okay? just a place for people to talk about their problems. Like, literally the same genetic makeup, but she has limitless options that she was calling creeps. Brutal man. <laughs> she called them a bunch of creeps. If I wasn't her brother, she would have called me a creep as well. My sister knew what kind of dating value she had right there and then, guys. But according to Destiny and all the other Menosphere guys, oh, rehab, don't worry, bro. In real life, things are different. She might have a higher SMB online, but your dating value, your dating market value in real life isn't much lower than her. It is about the same, bro. <laughs> Brother, if only you knew. If only you knew. Oh, bro, that was then. This is now. Ten years later, she hit the wall, bro. You have better dating opportunities now. Comedians. <laughs> oh, my bad. I just haven't hit my peak yet. I need to wait 30 years more. <laughs> These guys are straight up comedians, man. I don't know. It is beyond me how anyone takes these guys seriously. Like, these guys are coping out of their minds. Bro, these days most females find their partner online. And they are bombarded with options online. The hypergamy is even worse over there. Like, they believe this online world is some mutually exclusive imagination land. No, bro, it is the real life. It is the real life now. 
But of course, because the last time people like Destiny and AMS were on the dating market as a non-famous, non-rich people, Bill Clinton was the president. They have no idea what is going on. They have no touch. You got it better with social media. You just have to be, you know, take better pictures and uh, be higher value. I can make that argument too, right? I couldn't sit on my couch on Tuesday and swipe right, swipe left. I had to get out and go to Walmart. You know, y'all guys know how to go to Walmart, right? So you don't want to look like you're in Walmart looking for women. So you got to get a bucket, you got to get a little basket and put a juice in there and maybe a loaf of bread and walk around and get phone numbers and shit. We well, couldn't swipe right and swipe left. So I can make an argument that y'all guys got it, got it okay too. But we'll say that for another day. Some people like AMS go even further to claim that online dating actually makes it easier, better for men than before. <laughs> like, what are they smoking, bro? According to him, according to AMS, it is an advantage for men now compared to the past. Bro, these guys have no touch with reality. It is only a positive, it is only an advantage for the top 1 to 5% of men. But for 95, 95% of men in general and 99.9% .9 of AMS and Destiny viewers, those oofy doofy guys, it is a brutal death blow to the year SMV. I don't care about what they think, I care about what I think in my experiences. I have probably, I have probably fucked more women than most of these guys have in the audience, okay? <laughs> what the, the globalization has unlocked chat to the world. The globalization of chat, basically. Women don't see the local normie and think he's alright anymore. No, now they see the best and they believe they deserve that. They think they are entitled to that. I mean, I'm still in favor of geomaxing, but technology and online dating really dealt a powerful blow to geomaxing as well. I gotta admit that. The competition is just increasing more and more every passing year. Prices are going up, like these oofy doofies are going to the Southeast Asia and increasing the competition. They're flashing their money, flashing their passport, making it more difficult. Asian women know what white men look like now, what they can hook up with anytime they want. Like this whole notion that technology and online dating has only affected the hookup aspect is just comical. And this is the one that annoys me the most. But I will briefly talk about the honorable mentions as well. There are so many laughable cops, but I will just mention the major ones. I'm happy, I'm living my best life, I have no regrets. But will you be like that in, in Twitter? Sorry, may I ask, how old are you? I'm not going to say. I'm, I'm, okay, okay. Are you under 40? I'm not going to say. Then you're don't about worry. 40. Don't worry about it. No, but it is important because there's a lot of people who make a choice at a younger age going, I'm fine. It's like women who say, I don't want kids. I, I'm 32. I don't want fucking kids. I'll wait. And then they get to 40 and they go, that was a bad decision. I, I, no. I got lucky. I had kids. I got lucky. But if I had been in my situation now without children, I would be depressed. I'm telling you now. Yeah, I would have really regretted that decision. And I think there's, excuse me, please. I understand that women have like, you know, a time limit on how long they can have children. And, and, and it's, it's not the same for men. But there's a lot of men out there who, for instance, my students, They've delayed, 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 saying, no, I'm happy. I'm happy doing this. I'm happy jerking off to you porn. I'm happy to not have to, you know, try harder with women. It's fine. And they get to a certain point, which is why I was asking your age, a certain age point where they say, this is shit. Dedicated my life to trying to find some woman. Uh, you shouldn't dedicate or your life. You shouldn't dedicate your life to it. I don't agree with that. I say to my students, don't dedicate your life to this, but just know what to say and do when the moment happens right it was the mo when the moment happens when the welfare state and the family court and all this bullshit goes away and uh patriarchy is restored by necessity i'll be like all right looks like meat's back on the menu boys mm -hmm. and then i will go i will canvas the wasteland and i'll say where are my bitches at but until that day i'm gonna bide my time build my nest egg and uh we're gonna i'm just i'm just gonna wait until all this crap this what's happening this the equality, gender, it's its completely unsustainable. A hilarious notion, idea, some ento guys love to cling on to. The West is gonna collapse. The doomsday group. Oh, I am just biding my time. When the West collapses and the patriarchy is restored, then the meat is gonna back on the many boys. <laughs> Brother, you might as well just put a ring on that doll of yours. Cause you are gonna keep dating that. Oh, this is unsustainable. The patriarchy is going to be restored any day now. 
You just wait for it. Keep waiting, brother. Keep biding your time. <laughs> Keep having romantic dinners with that doll of yours. I mean, completely delusional. <laughs> Bro, like, we are at a point where they are gonna send us to the prison <laughs> if we criticize the Barbie movie. You say you didn't like the Barbie movie and they are gonna bury you under a freaking prison. <laughs> And you are talking about, oh, patriarchy is around the corner. Anyway, now, come on, man. Look, some people are indeed content with TFM lifestyle, true loners. But if you are not a true loner, if you are not a genuine loner at heart, which vast majority of men are not, let's be real here. And if you fool yourself into thinking that you are, you are that loner, you are only gonna suffer by being forever alone. You are gonna make yourself suffer, not someone else. Because male friends grow apart with time. Oh, just bide your time dating a plastic doll till the West falls and patriarchy is restored again. <laughs> Bro, never gonna happen. You are gonna wait forever. You keep waiting and you will grow into an old dude with no hair, grey beard, no friends, because people just grow apart with age. Those high school friends you had, everybody goes their own way. You keep waiting for West to fall and patriarchy to be restored while having romantic candlelight dinners with a plastic toy. You are gonna keep watching TFM forever, which is exactly what he wants. Guys, I also live alone, but I am not coping unlike those Entau guys. I am truthful with both myself and you guys. That is the difference. Oh, I am just biding my time till the patriarchy is restored. <laughs> sure. Keep waiting, brother. Anytime now. <laughs> Look, people are just not cut for that single life. Most humans are not. Very few people will genuinely enjoy that solo dollar forever lifestyle. And I promise you this, guys, I promise you, those MTOW content creators are not one of those. Those true loners. And I doubt TFM is one either. I don't know him personally, but just the fact that he catches emotions for his doll once it had female looking head arms and it resembled a female. Just that fact tells me that he's longing for it. Having like a torso doll, like an armless, legless, headless torso, it, that just feels like a sex toy. But when you have a full doll that has a face and hair and hands and you can actually like give it hugs and kisses and feel it, uh, just something there's a connection there and as you have if you, as you have sex a vast oppression bond Did you say a connection yeah well, look because love is love is not like the force from star wars it's he can't say oh i am living my best life i am the happiest all he wants but i don't buy it maybe a tolerable alternative maybe the better of the two bad situations yes sure but to call catching emotions for a plastic doll because loneliness broke you the best life is a stretch is he honest with himself or is he simply coping? You be the judge. But I don't buy it. I don't care if this sounds a bit harsh. If you ever find yourself building an emotional connection with a plastic toy once it has a female looking head, arms and it can hug you and stuff, loneliness broke you mate. It is that simple. Your mind and soul broke before your body. Real Mtow men living the best life don't even know about those communities online and they definitely don't develop an emotional romantic relationship with a plastic toy resembling a female. <laughs> But hey, you know, at least it is better than becoming a beta box deluxe, so the better of two bad situations. Calling it the best life though? Ah, that is a questionable statement, to put it politely. As a man ages, if he is doing the work, he's taking care of himself, his mind is right, we become better with age. As far as women are concerned, women are usually taking the easy route Women tend to, as they get older, they want to get a mommy makeover. They feel like they deserve it. They just don't look the same. And granted, I think that, you know, if you want to do it, you do your due diligence. I think it's okay. Another honorable mention for Darwin Awards goes to the wall coppers. You guys all know them. <laughs> the whole, oh, man age better group. Oh, bro, man, peak at... 67 bro your best years lie ahead of you bro <laughs> brother like the wall exists only if you compare older women to younger women's smb but since young woman smb is so ludicrously high even if you cut it by 75 percent 80 percent whatever it is still pretty damn high right higher than most young men there was even a comment uh, under one of my last videos a guy was saying something like my 65-year-old mother has more options than me, 
bro, that was a brutal comment. And the sad and funny thing is, he is not an outlier. That is the case, I believe, I suspect, for at least half of the male population. I created a Tinder account for me and my babushka. Let's see how many likes I got. I bet it's a lot. What? I got zero likes, bro. I got Tinder Platinum, what? How much money did I spend on this? I barely used my Babushka's Tinder profile at all. And I still got over 1000 likes after one month. Just gonna like this dude and it's gonna be a match. Look. Bro, what the? It's gonna be a match. How is this possible, man? Match. <laughs> Bro, like, I don't know what these MTOW content creators are smoking so that they are thinking, Oh, bro, woman hit the wall, we age better. How can we age better, bro? Our SMB goes down the, the gutter if you are not rich. And let's be real here. It is not easy to get rich. And these days, females outturn men in workforce. So what are you talking about? We are aging better. <laughs> Brother, just take a look at the mirror and you are gonna... <laughs> it should give you a pretty good <laughs> idea whether you are aging better or not. Like, what are you talking about, bro? The concept of the ball, in the sense, MTOW community uses is a complete lie. The males get very upset when I reminded them that they are born at the wall and women are always desired at any age. So they come back with their BS. Oh, well, we don't desire you for more than sex. <laughs> Let me remind you of who you are. Right now as we speak, there are men buying toenail clippings, armpit shavings, skin whatevers. There are men paying women to text them, to talk to them on their phone, to step on them. There are men who pay me to come and clean my house. And there are 60 year old women who have men come and clean their house, okay? As in the man cleans and the man pays. Men are begging for intimacy. Men are begging to talk to women. Men are begging for commitment. Bro, like those older females will still get hit by shed lights and young professionals. But you know how they are gonna cope when you state this. They are gonna say, oh, that is just dating apps, bro. Not real life. Goes back to the first cop I mentioned in the beginning of the video. The delusion is unreal. Even older women can easily find a younger, a more attractive dude to date. Not only hook up, but date also. A long-term relationship. Can you say the same? For old men, older men. Just the fact that those Menosphere guys have to make 10,000, 5,000 videos trying to find a way to game a woman to find a partner gives you the answer. If you have to make 10,000 videos telling men how to plot an intricate plan to game a woman, <laughs> you already know you have lost the argument. <laughs> Come on, man, what are we talking about here? Guys, imagine a 40 year old guy balding with gray beard who's making 60k a year. What kind of dating market value does he have? Even if he has some options, it is nowhere near a 40 year old woman's options. Even if she's unemployed, even if she's overweight. This whole, oh, you are only looking at the Tinder results, that doesn't mean dating market value, bro, is a pure red pill manosphere lie. Maybe it doesn't translate one to one. Okay, I will admit that. Maybe uh, some of the guys of Tinder she can hook up with will not date her long term relationship wise, but her options will still be infinitely more than some 40 year old balding dude if that 40 year old dude isn't in the top 5 income bracket. And even then, it is not attraction, it is just beta box deluxe. But the rest 95% can't even come close to that. What kind of delusional world, imagination land, these guys live in where the average 40 year old oofy doofy balding guy with grey beard has any day the market value? That is why those guys have to cling on to their marriages and why the vast majority of divorces are initiated by women. Oh, they, the market value is different, bro. Tinder is not real life. Brother, I got some bad news for you. If you think women don't translate that SMV to DMV, at least partially, you are a fool. Meanwhile, average 40-year-old man is basically Bruce Willis from that Sixth Sense movie, as far as his dating life is concerned. A ghost, invisible to everybody else, but doesn't know that he's that and nobody can see him, except that kid. And we would be that kid in this analogy. We are the only place where he can be seen and heard. What was that famous line? I see dead people, right? And we see oofy doofies. Oh man, age like fine wine, bro. Man, peak at their 50s, bro. Just hit the gym, trust the process, and things fall into place, bro. Y'all like bodybuilders? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bodybuilders? Yeah. I like skinny, scrawny guys. How about multimillionaires? <laughs> 
How about eight inches and thick? How about talented? How about loving and respectful? I lost my wife 10 weeks ago. 21 years faithful. My daughter committed suicide three weeks ago. Oh, shit. 13. She was faster than me at 12, and I run a six-minute mile. My testimony, I'm nothing but pure, and I ask you if you want to be in the YouTube channel. And you like scrawny guys. I know he trauma dump on us like that. Damn. And the final honorable mention goes to the All Women Are Incapable of Love group. And I know a lot of you believe this as well. Guys, they are incapable of loving you. I am sorry, I gotta be honest with you. Even if this offends you. Friends are honest. You, yes, they are incapable to love. Like comedy, how they project their experiences and internalized fate onto others. Or oh, everybody has to trick like us, right? Cause examples like Jeremy Meeks never happen. Or girl who gave her kidney to her cheating boyfriend. Dude, in my personal life, I have seen women do the craziest shit for men they didn't want to lose. Just because they don't do it for you doesn't mean they are incapable of doing it for the right guy. It is just you are not that guy. It is just women have higher standards than men. Men think the average girl is attractive enough. But the same doesn't go the other way around. But overall, since women operate on emotions, they tend to do even wilder stuff for their partner than men. Some stuff you're gonna see a woman do for Chad. Your own brother won't do it for you. Especially if you are raised in the West with a prevalent each man for himself culture. Forget about giving you his kidney. Your own cousin or brother will write you off for a couple of grand. Happens all the time. The dude doesn't talk to his own brother. I asked why. Oh, he screwed me out of 10k, didn't pay it back. I mean, happens all the time. I donated my kidney to my boyfriend and he cheated on me and this is that story. A few months after the surgery, my boyfriend went to a bachelor party in Vegas with some of his Christian friends. Um, his best friend was getting married. He was texting me throughout the trip how much he didn't want to be there and how much he just wanted to read the Bible. On the Sunday that he was coming home, he came to my house unannounced. Panic in his eyes and just like pale like he looked really scared and I was just confused on what happened and then that's when he admitted to the cheating. I thought about it for a while and I decided to try to make things work. After he hung up on me he blocked me on social media and yeah just completely cut me out. I felt really hurt that he could just you know throw me out of his life like that. Your own brother won't sacrifice for you, like women sacrifice for chat. Let me say this again, your own brother won't sacrifice for you as much as women sacrifice for the chat. I have observed two different cases of almost delusional, ready to do anything type of love. And funny enough, both of them actually come from women. <laughs> First, women's love for chat, and second, the blind spot females have for their offspring, a mother's love. You know the saying, a face only a mother can love? That is accurate. Love is nothing but emotion. Meanwhile, men operate on logic and competition, not emotion. So if women can't love, then men can't either. And of course, when you bring that up, they resort to yet another cop. Coping is like riding a bicycle. Once you start coping, you gotta keep coping. You gotta keep pushing the pedals or else you are gonna fall. Like dominoes, guys. One cop you tell yourself is gonna lead to the next. It is the same in the manosphere. Then they say, oh, that is not the real love. She might have given him her kidney, but that is not real love. They get bogged down in semantics. At that point, it is just silly philosophical argument of what is love. They are just moving the goalpost. Oh, she won't be like that when she's 96 years old. So in reality, she doesn't love him. Then there is no such a thing as love. Because men won't do that when you are 96 either. <laughs> Just silly semantics. Oh, she is only with Chad because of his looks. That is not real love, that is shell love. Oh wow, you mean your partner dating you because she's actually attracted to you isn't good enough for you? Or are you really gonna suggest people date based on personality? Would it be real love if she was dating you for your money? <laughs> like, what are we talking about, brother? Love is nothing but emotion. It is not a conscious decision. You can't just decide to love somebody. And females operate on emotion. By the way, I am not claiming that men are incapable of love. I am just pointing out the silliness of their claims that females only date for money and are incapable of love. Brother, they are incapable of loving you. You, yes, they only tolerate for money because you are not that guy. 
Tricking is all you have ever known. I mean, I could probably list some more, some more laughable cops, but I will see you guys in the next one.